to you, all of my Clean Up Crew, First Wave Indigos, and Hologram Rescue Team. I just felt like I really needed to do a quick update here and not wait for like next week or um, try to get it on the website. This information just seemed too relevant and too important to wait. And so what I'd just like to talk to you about is that, um, gosh, it was been about almost a week ago and I was picking up, it was actually on, on November the 6th, I was picking up that something very significant was about to happen in five days. And I wasn't quite sure what it was, it just seemed like, kind of like a huge shift would happen after that. And then later I checked to see what day that was going to be, and it is tomorrow, 11-11. And it's interesting because um, I got an email today from the gal that helped me from Ottawa when we did the um, connection between the Four Rivers uh, grid that she just placed in Ottawa, Canada, and the Vatican and Electric City. And once we connected those, and we did this on Friday, um, I got the message, the spell has been broken. And I got that several times. I'm like, well, that's cool. What spell is it? Well, it's some serious spells. It's not just one, it's several. Um, but it was just indicating that we are moving and we are breaking through these barriers. Um, I would like to tell you a little bit more about tomorrow. Um, this, uh, it, it seems very important that we be um, focused and look at what we can do and not what we cannot do. That seems very pertinent right now. And I I think if any of you saw the video that that just went up on YouTube that I did with Rise Multiversity, we had so much interference, it was not funny, like interference from everywhere. And that's why I'm doing this just as a audio file with some pictures on it um, instead of video because I didn't want to take any chances of this one getting buggered up. And. So, um, it's interesting, um, the gal that from Ottawa that um, did the grid um, where the four rivers meet in Ottawa, Canada, and if you, if you saw the map, um, you could see that it's like north, south, east, and west. Very, very sacred place at one time before we came in and buggered it all up, and, and when, <clears throat> when the... the uh, Catholics came in and kind of took over and so what we did is put uh, a connection between that grid that she had already placed and the Vatican and Electric City in, uh, in Washington um, over by Soap Lake. And it's interesting because these rivers both did the, the the water that was running through electric uh, electric city and the water in the falls for um, the one in Ottawa they were doing corrupted things with the nature spirits there and and torturing them and uh, they, they weren't free and so doing these ceremonies and and these connections and gritting them um, helped free those nature spirits and a whole bunch of other stuff. There was so much dark magic going on, it wasn't even funny. Um, when, when we placed the grids, um, we put aurora light water, or aurora light dust all over in the falls and, and in the river below. And this was done a year ago. So, um, and I know that there's underground facilities in all three of these places. So what this did is like really penetrate the corruption that has been going on for a long time, hundreds of years. So when this was done, 
um, there was such a relief. And you need to understand a little background too about um, this this friend client of mine who who did this <clears throat> grid in Ottawa. She had a little rooster named Pingu, and it was hatched in her uh, in her children's uh, school. And it was um, a Montessori school. And it was it was in 2014, and um, they they hatched it in this Montessori school, and the only one that survived was this one little rooster that they named Pingu. Now um, he was an amazing little birdie, and. Everyone just loved him. He became the mascot of the school. And um, the children would take him home on the nights and the weekends, and everybody just loved him. Well, in the summer, um, my, my client, they got to take him home in, out throughout the summer and take care of him. And he just became part of the family. They just loved him, and they knew that there was something very different about him. Well, um, when she, um, in 2015, she got hit by those evil mirrors that I talked about in, uh, in the, it was like two weeks ago that, that I talked about those when I got hit by it and had that dizzy spell that knocked me down. Um, I was on the floor puking. I didn't think I could get up. I didn't think I could ever do my work again. It was really horrible, scary. And um, I, I was like just pretty much bedridden for a while. And I thought, no, 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 this, this ain't happening. And gradually I was able to override it and figure out what it was. And that's when I found out about these eagle mirrors. And you can you can um, listen to the video about that and get more information on that. But I've heard of other people getting hit and it came to me, um, I was sitting at my computer and all of a sudden the words started like waving in and out and back and forth and I thought, whoa, that is so weird. And then within probably three minutes, it wasn't very long, I went from being just fine to I, I thought, okay, I'll run and get some potassium. And I went into the kitchen and I thought I was gonna die. I was down on the floor throwing up. So it's interesting because she got hit with the same thing about five years ago in 2015. And she was throwing up so hard and she also got hit while she was on her computer. And I since realized that um, this was a AI infestation, the way it, it moved into you. Um, I think we got it handled, so don't worry about it. Um, but you need to know that this was evil. It was like a 10 level evil and pressing the envelope. Well, she got hit by it too, and she had to go to the hospital. She was dehydrating. It was really, really bad for her. Um, she didn't know about the Screw You Loser protocol, and she she was in bad shape. Well, while she was com she came home from the hospital, and while she was convalescing, this little Rue stayed right by her side, and we were wondering um, um, what kind of a life form he was, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, but what happened to this little room next is that he started to crow and you can't have um, crowing roosters in the part of the town that she was living in. So she gave it back to the woman that um, has a, a heritage farm for, for chickens. And so she gave it back to her because she couldn't keep him anymore. Well, what happened next was very, very sad. Um, some of the other roosters gained up on this little roo, this little pingu, and killed him. 
and it was devastating for everybody and um, it's hard for me to even talk about it. So I was trying to figure out what kind of a life form this little Roo was and I thought well you know maybe he's with uh, some of my chickens that weren't really um, you know first I had to find out if he was really a chicken well he wasn't. Then I thought well maybe he is hanging out with Animala, um, who died in 2015 about the same time he did, and also maybe with Lattice or with with um, Hercules. And no, he wasn't with them. And I'm like, okay, what kind of a life form is he? Is he a dragon? No, he's not a dragon. Um, is he a land sea air being? No, he's not one of those. Is he a gargoyle? No, not one of those. I went through all of these lists of animals. He wasn't any of those. But he was um, definitely on the hologram rescue team. And I'm like, okay. Then I'm checking out to see if he's like maybe an insect or something like that. No, he's none of that. Um, then I checked out, okay, is he an animal? No. Is he a human? No. Is he a vegetable? No. Is he a mineral? No. Um, is he a water spirit? No. And I'm just going down the list of everything and I'm like running out of options. So then I thought, okay, I got to think outside the box here. And all of a sudden it just hit me. I heard this voice that said, he is a plasma being. And I'm like, a plasma being? What in the world is that? And I, I was just stumped. And what's interesting is I was working with two other indigos at the time, like at that time, that were working on how to rewire your brain and how to um, get to the bottom of some of the corruption that is making us not be the best that we can be and turn on our X-Men abilities. And um, one of these indigos had a Tesla plasma ball and they were kind of working with that and figuring out how that, that was relevant. And, um, and they were doing it that, that at the same time. In fact, I was watching them in their chat um, right after I had realized that little Pingo was a plasma room. Well, he, <laughs> he, um, actually came to me two days before that I got this very calm serene powerful um, intelligent highly intelligent um, it was energy and a voice it, it's it's like I was thinking oh maybe I should do this and it's like well yeah you could do that but you could do this too why don't you do this instead and it was just kind of giving me advice and I'm like whoa who is this is this somebody that I know and it's like I was getting no I'm like have I ever met you here in this earth life and it's like no I'm like oh my gosh um I wonder who it is but it had such a different frequency to it it was just um, I just had to shake my head. It's like, wow, this is like amazing and wonderful. Well, guess who that was? Yes, that was Pingo, the plasma roo. <laughs> so that was my introduction to that. Well, some new things are happening. And since tomorrow is 11-11, um, I, I was thinking, okay, I've, I've got to get some more information up here and I've got to do it now. Well, then I get an email from from this gal from Ottawa and she this is what it says the spell has been broken indeed and we now can set loving intentions through our own inner restored medicine will now you have to understand something too um, two days before she found the cryogenetics egg she was getting that she needed to find an egg that would fix things for her internally and she didn't know what that was and then two days later she finds my website with the cryogenetics egg and that was something that that Pingu had kind of um, given her a, a prompting on so okay so this spell has been broken 
Um, Indeed, and we now can set loving intentions through our own inner restored medicine wheel. Now, the, the interesting thing is on 11-11, for here, it's Veterans Day, and in Canada, it's Remembrance Day. And what has been happening is that there is a distorted remembrance that was designed to perpetuate suffering, war, and sacrifice. It's like that is what Remembrance Day is all about. Remembering the dead, remembering the sacrifice, remembering the blood and the sacrifice. And what she said is we need a new remembrance um, for all humanity to remember who we really are and why we are here. So uh, I, I put a little video out called Remember Who You Are. This would be an excellent time to, to review that video. And then she said, uh, we can all set out this intention at 11.11 on Wednesday, the 11th, the 11th, to restore true remembrance frequencies during our own time zone. And if everyone sets that intention at 11.11 their time, it's going to make some serious waves. So what I would suggest to you is that you do it several times. You know, remember who you are and let's not look at these blood sacrifice things. It's also interesting, she also wrote that the covert symbol of the poppy flower, um, flowers over the heart represent gun wounds. And so there again, we've got the blood, we've got the sacrifice, we've got the, the louche, um, running amok um, on innocent people that don't know that that is what they are doing. So um, tomorrow, um, just kind of gear up for this, and tomorrow we will um, all collectively, um, and you know, tell your friends, okay, at 11.11 on the 11th, start really feeling and remembering who you are and emanating that. And what we can do with this is make a huge shift. Now that the spell has been broken, we can make a huge shift and start putting all of the cards in our favor. Okay? So good luck to you, everybody. I'll probably be doing a few more of these. I'm working on um, the anatomy of the porn vibration, what they didn't teach you in Sunday school. Um, about got that done. It should be up hopefully tomorrow for, for you to buy. Um, we're getting the website ready, and um, so I'm a busy gal. <laughs> so, so anyway, everybody, have an awesome day. Um, don't let these energies get you down. Remember your screw you loser protocol. Um, I have to say that, I don't know, about eight or ten times today already, but it helps instantly. I got back into my center. So um, everybody, have an awesome day and remember who you are. Love to everybody. Bye-bye.